welcome to the MPA OneNote Capstone Prep Tutorial. This tutorial is designed to help you learn how to use the Office 365 OneNote tool to help you organize your notes and resources for every one of your MPA courses so you will be better prepared when the capstone rolls around. Your first step will be to create your OneNote, which you will do by logging into my.troy.edu. When you first log into my.troy.edu, this is the home page that you will see. There is everything Troy that you will need right here on this page. There are two ways for you to get to the Office 365 apps. The first is by clicking on Services, and then in the drop-down menu, you'll find Office 365 apps. The second way is simply to click on the icon that says Office 365 apps. When you click into the Office 365 apps, you will notice quite a few that are familiar to you, like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But you'll also find lots of new ones to explore, like Sway, which is a great tool for presentations. I even use them in my classes for introductions. And then here you'll also find OneNote. Now you will notice that there are three similar icons with similar names. You'll see OneNote, Class Notebook, and Staff Notebook. You want to choose OneNote. Once you click on OneNote, you will come to your OneNote homepage, and here you will find any OneNotes that you may have already created, as well as any that may have been shared with you. You'll also notice a purple button that says Plus New. When you click on Plus New, you'll get two options. One is Blank Notebook, and the other is Class Notebook. You want to choose the Blank Notebook. And the last step to creating your notebook is to give it a name. I suggest something like your last name and MPA notebook. So for example, mine would be Estevez MPA notebook. So once you have created your OneNote, this is what you will see. And as you will notice, it is completely empty. In fact, it even tells you so right here that your OneNote is blank. But what we will want to do is to start setting this up. Let me give you just a little context about the OneNote Notebook. Basically, the OneNote Notebook is like a digital three-ring binder. You may remember back in school having a three-ring binder with dividers and your pages behind those dividers. You may have had a divider that said math, one for English, and another for history or science. And then behind each one, you had your notes, your assignments, and other important handouts from the teacher. Well, that is exactly what you have here, except the dividers are called sections. And the really cool thing about a digital notebook is that you have it with you wherever you are, on your tablet, phone, laptop, desktop, the library, your parents' house, wherever. You also have the option to download the full notebook as a PDF, or you can transfer it to a home or work office 365 account. The first thing we will do is to get your sections set up you will create one section for every one of your MPA courses. So you'll see down here, you can click on to add a section. Let's start with foundations, since that is the first course we encourage everyone to start with. And then we'll add a few more just for this demo. So now we'll put in the foundations and we'll type that in and you'll see it come up over here on the side. And let's go with research methods. We'll do that next. So I'll type that in and we'll add that. And then just a couple more. Let's go with uh, public policy. And then maybe one more public human resource management. And I'll just abbreviate that public HRM. Now there are certain pages that I recommend you start off with for every course. The very first page I recommend is for textbook. And I recommend putting a picture of your textbook as well as the APA citation. You will really appreciate having that already formatted later. You can also add any chapter PowerPoints you may have. One thing to note about adding in files in OneNote is you want to make sure that the files are all downloaded and located in your OneDrive or external hard drive or wherever, because if you link to files that are in the Canvas course, once that course is over, you will no longer have access to it. So this is a very important tip to remember. Another page you may want to put here is your key takeaways. 
I recommend putting three to five key takeaways. And this is something you could do as the class is going along, or perhaps right after the class ends while everything is still fresh in your mind. And these are just some of the key takeaways or key lessons that you think might be important later, especially when you get to capstone. Another page might be key theories or theorists. Things that you covered in class again that you think might be important when you get to capstone or even as you take other classes in the program. And then one particularly important for foundations might be timeline, for example, because we do cover a lot of dates over the course of foundations that you may want to reference at some point. So those are just some basic areas that you can set up. Now you will notice up here that you can put lots of things into your pages. So if we go to insert, for example, you can put in a table, a file, a picture, a link, an audio file, all different things that you might want to store in here. File is really cool because there are two options. One is just to put in the file as an attachment. This works really well for those chapter PowerPoints because it will take up less space. But you also have the option of choosing file printout, which not only inserts the file, but also inserts a printout of the file. So you will have easy access to the file and you don't have to open it up to see what's inside. Over here, you will also see an option that you can insert a table. And tables are a really great way for you to organize your information to limit the amount of scrolling that you have to do. This would probably work really well for your PowerPoint files. Let's say you have 12 PowerPoint files. So this way, you could create a table and put everyone into a box, and it would organize it very well for you. So now, let me take a minute and show you what one might look like that's set up somewhat. This is one that I've been working on as a demo, and I started working on it particularly as I would teach certain classes, such as public policy. So you can see here, that I put in that citation and a picture of the textbook, and I also have one of the PowerPoints. And just for demonstration, I wanted to show you what it would look like to use that file printout option. So you can see that it not only inserted the PDF file here, but then as we scroll down, it also gives you all the slides in that file. While you may not want to use this for the PowerPoints, it can be very useful for you if you have an annotated bibliography or perhaps your research paper you did for class. You can also put in, as I mentioned, your key takeaways here. And I have added in a few other files like the policy continuum and some policy models. Uh, they also might want to put in some key theories or theorists that are covered. And then I have a section here for the policy areas. And in my policy class, I had the students create cheat sheets for each of the different policy areas, so I thought I would add those in here. And again, I use that file printout option so you can see I have both the PDF as well as a full visual printout of the file. So it's very easy for me to scroll through and look for basic information covered on each of those areas. And then finally, another file you may want to have or page is a glossary of important terms that you covered throughout the course, as OneNote has an option for you to do a search through your notebook. Now you may have noticed on the sections that I have two additional sections I did not mention when we were setting up the example, but I think they're probably very useful for you. The first one is general information. And here is a good place for you to perhaps put your program of study, including a snip of the required core courses, as well as the course options for your concentration. Here I have the public management concentration as an example. And you can also include a link here to the graduate catalog. You might also want to put your current resume here and maybe other links like to that graduate catalog or other important forms that you've had over the course of your program. And I also have one down here for APA formatting. This again can be very helpful to you for a quick resource and a place to go when you need some formatting information. So I've put the library page here for you. So this has been a quick overview of how to set up your OneNote notebook. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I hope that you will use this as you go along throughout your program. I have had students come back during Capstone and say they were so glad they had pulled all their information together and organized it as they went along. Make sure you're keeping all those textbooks, and if you have your information stored here, you will be ready for Capstone when that time arrives. 
Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to review this tutorial on setting up your MPA OneNote to prepare for Capstone. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. Otherwise, I look forward to celebrating your graduation someday soon.